Hello guys, we're all here, and today I wanted to play some Skyrim for you guys. Now, I just started a new game, I went through the tutorial, and uh, now we're at Ember Shard Mine, I'm going to start off from here, why not? Because you guys have already seen the tutorial twice by now, if you've been a subscriber to me for a long time. Honestly, I'm going to play Warrior, and I'm going to do the Dawn Guard questline, plenty of other stuff, and yes, I just put my sword through my shield. That did not make any sense. But let's just move on. Nothing has to really make sense. I mean, come on, this is Skyrim we're talking about. This is freaking vampires, werewolves, dragons, freaking. <clears throat> this doesn't have to make sense. Alright. We're level one. And a half. Well, about one and a half. But, um. I'm getting decent frame rate now that I have a new graphics card, which is good. Which means I can play this game on a computer without that much lag or anything, which is a pretty damn good deal. Sorry if I sound different. Uh, I'm a bit congested. I've been sick for the past like two days. I have like an animation mod, so it changes the uh, the third person animation. So like when you put your sword away, it, he flips it around and stuff. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> if William were to be watching this video, I don't know if he is. He'd probably be surprised my, by my warrior skills in this game. He probably thinks that he's like the only warrior in my group of friends, but nope. The reason I play a, you know, thief, assassin type character usually is, um, <clears throat> because it's more challenging and just a lot funner to me, but really, I'm best at being a warrior, but it's just not my style, I'm the subtle person. You know, I'm that kind of unseen force kind of guy, where I prefer... I prefer it when, um, you know, attacking one of my enemies can't see me, rather than going straight up at them, but, because I think it's a lot funner and a lot more challenging that way, but, some warrior combat is definitely a good change of pace from my usual, you know, sneaking sniper type gameplay. <clears throat> I'm really getting really low on inventory space. I should probably drop some stuff. Some of this useless crap. <laughs> Alright. Very good. Alright. Thought it would be a good place to start out with. And Burchard Mine, because it's got some bandits in it, you know, it's got some action, but, you know, it's nothing too challenging. It's something that you'd probably want to read at the very beginning of the game. To get some decent loot and just level up a little bit. Now, you see, I have a mod that makes some bandits have crossbows. There's a very little chance of them spawning with them. But, yeah, so some bandits will have crossbows, which means they're relatively overpowered. That also means I can get a crossbow without doing the Dawn Guard quest line, which is cool. So let's just stab him to death and then take his crossbow. Shall we? And uh, I've got several other mods that I'm probably not going to be using, like a guns mod and stuff. But I mean, really, they just don't make sense for Skyrim, and I'm most likely not going to use them. At all. <clears throat> Basically, my focus for this save is going to be on main story and Don Guard questline. I might join like the companions. Um. It's probably going to be one of the main factions I joined, considering that 
that's perfect for the warrior type character, and well, that's what my character is, so. Finally, I can replace my Imperial wares. The petty souls that are indeed Imperials. Sorry, if you didn't know, I don't know how you wouldn't know, but uh, I hate Imperials in Skyrim. It's just, I don't know, but I just hate them for some reason. It, it just, I, I don't know. So, um, I think I'm gonna stick with my normal, uh, armor. Thank you very much. Doesn't quite look right. Ugh. Mod, you never know what you could expect when you don't use the right things, the right things. That trap's not even gonna hit me if I walk past it this time, so. Fuck the world! YOLO! Okay, that was horrifying. I'm never gonna do that again. <laughs> <coughs> this thing still makes it more difficult to be detected, which in turn allows for deadly stealth attacks. I've gotten to level 70 in Sneak in almost every save that I've made in this game. I wonder if the game would think that I knew that by now. Hmm. Good question. The youngest member is the Order. These force and sense of children. Yeah, I have like a Star Wars lightsaber mod. Which I'm probably not going to be using. I might even just take it off because it's annoying because... There's like 50 different lightsabers crowding my forge at all times. <coughs> it also adds like random Star Wars facts to the loading screens and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Sorry I have a cough. Like I said, I've been sick for like the past two days, so. Probably just a cold. Might be allergies, I'm not really sure. want some iron and some leather. <coughs> we should start off with basic suit of iron armor. Which is nothing too hard to make. As we could prosper for the materials, which after selling all this armor. Pretty sure that I can afford it. Um.
Hmm. Need leather strips now. Is there anything else that I could sell? <coughs> no, but I could always go hunting and uh, procure some leather strips from that. <coughs> so look, I start off every series I do in Skyrim with getting to Riften, going hunting, making armor. It's kind of <coughs> it's kind of a repeating process, but whatever. I mean, it is one of the best ways to do this. So, that's a slain Jedi, which has all the materials on him. I would need to pre prepare uh, s some basic lightsabers, but we're not even going to use it for lightsabers. In fact, I believe he had leather strips on him, if I remember correctly. Let's go and check that. <clears throat> and if he didn't, we don't even need to go hunting. If I remember correctly, he does have a decent amount of leather strips on him. How would I have the crossbow equipped? It's odd. I don't know where I got ceiling it's from, but okay. <clears throat> Very nice, got a small arsenal here. We're well prepared for combat. Now I think the next thing that we will do is we will go to a white run. So we can start the next main quest mi quest mission. The main quest. Whoa, random lag spike. <clears throat> this river actually leads straight to White Run. It's basically a straight set shot metro, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I have no idea why I'm lagging, but I am. That's annoying. Sorry. Well, why? But it seems like every time I try and record a PC game, I always end up touching my microphone at least once. Especially now, considering I've got a runny nose, so I kind of, or once in a while, need to go up there and just, you know, itch my nose or whatever. So. Like actually, next time I record, I'll think about. I don't, I don't know what the graphical quality is on. I think it's probably on medium because that's what my graphics card probably set it to uh, by default. If I set my graphical quality to low, it might be even better frame rate. Still don't know why I'm lagging out like this though. So I just switched from like 15 frames per second to like four. Doesn't make any sense. There's nothing new to render here or anything, so I don't really get it. Been the light run literally hundreds of times, so I have a Morgan. Come on. Yeah, out of frame rate's starting to speed up again, that's good. <clears throat> so next we'll have to go into, um... What the hell is it called? I can't remember what it's called. That's not normal. Freaking, um... Ugh! Is it, it labeled? <laughs> I can't believe I don't remember what this is called. I just... I can't remember. 
Um. Fucking. What the hell is it called? Come on. Um. Okay, yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna stop trying to remember. <laughs> Bleak Falls Barrel. Bleak Falls Barrel. That's what it is. Holy crap, it's been so long since I played this. Or played this for its story and not like Don Guard or. You know. Just the combat of it or anything like that. <coughs> By the way, considering I'm doing. Skyrim, I was wondering if you guys wanted to see a Oblivion playthrough as well. Um, because I could totally do that for you guys. I have the game. Um, I, it's not even really modded yet. I only have like five different mods installed. And, uh, overall I just like Oblivion a lot more than Skyrim at the moment. Um, and if you guys want to see that, then, well, I could definitely do that for you. <coughs> And let's hope this doesn't take like five hours to load. <coughs> there we go. Dragon destroyed Helgen. That was the last, and the last that I saw. I was heading this way. You're not even in your laboratory. Uh-huh. <clears throat> now he's sitting in your frickin' laboratory. Where you should be. Uh. Uh, learned of a certain stone tablet sent to be housed in the place. 
go to Bleak Falls there, find this tablet, no doubt in the third chamber, and bring it to me. This is so serious. All right. The game lagged and I fell off the frickin' thing.
Ow. Did you guys see that? That was weird. And execution animation execution animation stops. And I don't know what the hell just happens. Come on. Fucking stupid game. Come on, I don't want to head off this video until I, uh, kill my first dragon, but it's gonna be like 20 minutes from now if this loading screen doesn't freaking stop soon. Come on, it's a loading screen! How's a loading screen lagging? There we go. Holy crap. What in the hell is going on? I'm getting one frame per second. There we go. It's boosting back up again. That was weird. Uh, why'd I lose stamina? I didn't do a power attack. That's odd. Maybe because of the lag, the game thought I was doing a power attack. Damn, it's running pretty damn smooth now, actually. Sneak oil.
Uh, Smile took no damage from its own trap. That didn't make any sense.
Alright, killed him. Ow. That shield didn't help at all. <laughs> the arrow went point freaking blank for my head. Ow. Alright. There, where that thing is, looks like a dragonfly, and an owl. We're lagging a little bit, we're lagging. <coughs> okay, so we're gonna learn... I don't know what... No, 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 it's gonna be... Oh, yeah, yeah, it is gonna be an unrelenting force. Five points of cold damage, this thing is, um, well, 16 points, and we're 12, that's a little bit better, okay. I'll, I'll use it. Four points, that still counts. Come on. 
Oh, I had a dozen magic words. You shall come on. And Skyrim loads. Awesome. I'm playing with like a soda cap on my desk. It's cool actually, it's a little diner down the street from our house. And uh it sells like the old fifties style like soda bottles and stuff. It's pretty cool. So So I had one of those like yesterday with my lunch and uh Yeah, so I got the bottle and the cap here with me. <clears throat> um, why is Delphine here? Is weird. Delphine's here, which doesn't make any sense. Um. Simply energy to be harnessed by those with the will and knowledge to do so. Now, um, I think there's a glitch going on here, I'll have to go rooting for, like, the code and stuff to see exactly what the hell is going on. Might be one of my mods, it might be just a random glitch of the game. But, um, so I'm at the end of the video here, guys. Sorry, I didn't get to fight the first dragon. I'll do that next episode, definitely. I'll try restarting the game and see if that helps, but I probably will not be playing again until tomorrow anyway. So, goodbye and good night. This has been Wilder Rell playing The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim.